New details now from the Rochester Tailored Clothing Factory, which used to produce Hickey Freeman suits made in Rochester. The factory is now under new ownership, the Tom James Company. Natalie Kuchko joins us in the studio with more on today's announcement from state leaders. Natalie. Well, Teresa, Rochester Tailored Clothing took over for Hickey Freeman's operations out of the long-standing iconic North Clinton Avenue factory just about one month ago. Representatives for Tom James say they plan to build off of the legacy made here in the years to come. The iconic downtown Rochester factory that produced Hickey Freeman suits for decades will be run by a new brand. Over the last several weeks, the Tom James Company worked to finalize the deal. That's according to Hickey Freeman CEO Stephen Granofsky, who says turning the business over is bittersweet. I've never been associated with a business that is an anchor to a community with greater support, um, greater camaraderie, greater history than Hickey Freeman in Rochester, never. And when we gave up or lost the Hickey Freeman license, our long-term future there was a question mark. Granofsky says keeping business running in Rochester proved more difficult with previous financial challenges. And while Tom James is technically a competitor to Hickey Freeman, he says it is a good fit for the future. To be candid, while we had never given up on the business, uh, they are the best suitor, the best owner for this factory. I think the community will be well served, the employees will be well served, our customers will be well served. Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce CEO Bob Duffy agrees. Rochester was always on a map with Hickey Freeman. We were known for that. The Hickey Freeman suits sold throughout the world were made here. Uh, and I'm hoping Tom James brings that same reputation with their name. Now, in addition to the 200 union jobs being kept within the factory, it is expected that Tom James will also bring in around 45 more over the next several years. In the studio, Natalie Kuchko, News 8.